Are you a Manhattan CEO who's thought about maybe hiring an executive coach? My name is Mark Taylor. I'm a master chair for Vistage International, and we're the world's leading CEO membership organization. I happen to be an executive coach, and I also happen to run peer advisory groups, and I'm often asked the question, what should I do? Should I become a member of a peer group, or should I hire an executive coach? With Vistage, you get both, but I want to talk a minute about what are the differences? So as an executive coach, what do we do? First, we help people clarify their goals. Uh, it's really surprising how hard it is to come up with a goal that's actually achievable and a goal that makes sense. Second, as a coach, we ask questions. We distinguish ourselves from consultants and that we don't give advice. Third, as a coach, we generally work on a specific behavior or outcome that somebody wants to achieve. Perhaps you want to uh, achieve being a nicer boss and we might work on giving somebody a compliment on a daily basis so that you improve your likability. So that's pretty much what an executive coach does. A recent survey said that 100% of people of uh, CEOs are interested in hiring an executive coach and famous people like Steve Jobs and uh, uh, the, the head of Google have hired executive coaches that have dramatically improved their performance. But I don't think an executive coach is enough. And that's where a peer advisory board comes in. A peer advisory board is a group of uh, 14 to 16 other CEOs. And what you get from a, a peer advisory board is you get unbiased, agenda-free feedback and perspective. We say that CEOs are in the business of making decisions, and the more important the decision, the more complex the decision, the more useful it is to get feedback from a group of people. And with a coach, you're getting one-to-one -one feedback, and even though I'm not supposed to consult and only ask questions, sometimes I will give my feedback, but with a group of CEOs, you're going to hear from many different perspectives. Sometimes you'll even hear the arguments that you have in your own head being argued out loud by two different members. Second, in a peer group, you get the opportunity to practice your leadership in front of peers. You get the opportunity to articulate questions clearly, to give feedback that's able to be listened to, uh, to um, be present and, and show that you're a good listener. So those are a couple of reasons why I think that a peer advisory group, in addition to coaching, can help you become a better leader. My name's Mark Taylor. I'm with Vistage NYC.